In thee, O Lord, I have put my trust. Let me never be put to confusion. Deliver me in thy righteousness. Bow down thine ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. And be thou my strong rock and house of defense, that thou mayest save me. For thou art my strong rock and my castle. Be thou also my guide, and lead me for thy name's sake. Draw me out of the net that they have laid privately for me, for thou art my strength. In thy hands I commend my spirit, for thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth. I have hated them that hold of lying vanities, and my trust has been in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in thy mercy, for thou hast considered my trouble, and hast known my soul in adversities. Thou hast not shut me up into the hand of the enemy, but hast set my feet in a large room. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am in trouble, and mine eye is consumed for very heaviness, yea, my soul and my body. For my life is waxen old with heaviness, and my years with mourning. My strength faileth me because of mine iniquity, and my bones are consumed. I became a reproach among all mine enemies, but especially among my neighbors. And they of mine acquaintance were afraid of me, and they that did see me without conveyed themselves from me. Welcome, friends, to Sunday Worship Service. I am clean forgotten as a dead man, out of mine. I am become like a broken vessel, for I have heard the blasphemy of the multitude, and fear is on every side, while they conspire together against me, and take their counsel to take away my life. But my hope hath been in thee, O Lord. I have said, Thou art my God. My times are in thy hand. Deliver me from the hand of mine enemies, and from them that persecute me. Show thy servant the light of thy countenance, and save me for thy mercy's sake. Let me not be confounded, O Lord, for I have called upon thee. Let the ungodly be put to confusion, and be put to silence in the grave. Let the lying lips be put to silence, which cruelly, disdainfully, and despitefully speak against the righteous. O oh, how plentiful is thy goodness, which thou hast laid up for them that fear thee, and that thou hast prepared for them that put their trust in thee, even before the sons of men. Thou shalt hide them in the covet of thine own presence from the plottings of men. Thou shalt keep them secretly in thy tabernacle from the strife of tongues. Thanks be to the Lord, for he hath showed me marvelous great kindness in a strong city. But in my haste I said, I am cast out of thy sight of thine eyes. Nevertheless, thou hearest the voice of my prayer when I cried unto thee, O oh, love the Lord, all ye his saints, for the Lord preserveth them that are faithful, and plenteously rewardeth the proud doer. Be strong, and he shall establish your heart, all ye that put your trust in the Lord. Amen.
Be thou my judge, O Lord, for I have walked innocently. My trust hath been also in the Lord, therefore shall I not fall. Examine me, O Lord, and prove me. Try out my reins and my heart. For thy loving kindness is ever before mine eyes, and I walk in thy truth. I have not dwelt with vain persons, neither will I have fellowship with the deceitful. I have hated the congregation of the wicked, and will not sit among the ungodly. I will wash my hands in innocency, O Lord, and so will I go to thine altar, that I may show the voice of thanksgiving and tell of all thy wondrous works. Lord, I have loved the habitation of thy house, and the place where thine honor dwelleth. O oh, shut not up my soul with the sinners, nor my life with the bloodthirsty, in whose hands is wickedness, and their right hand is full of gifts. But as for me, I will walk innocently, O oh, deliver me, and be merciful unto me. My foot standeth right. I will praise the Lord in the congregations. Amen. Thank you, friends and neighbors, until we meet again for Sunday Worship Service.